Thank you for visiting our channel. Today I came out to show you guys a brand new remote that I have received from Rita Company and it is the Retac RII i7 Mini. It's a very little compact remote. We will be quick unboxing and also show you very quickly that what you can do with this. Again the box is very very nicely put together. You can see it all around. It has very little marking on it. It does have a little sticker on it that will tell you that this is the genuine remote, the actual legit device. And on top of that once you go around it and you try to open the box itself you will see the components that are part of this is the RII i7 mini remote itself. Also comes with two AAA batteries. It also comes with a little user manual which is double sided. It has every information that you require on how you can use this remote and also how you can open the back where everything is. Everything will be inside of this user guide. It also gives you a little thank you note. All right, so let's just get to the remote itself. You can see it, it is very nicely designed going around it. And also when you flip it in the back, the back opens and you can see that it does have a little USB dongle and that's where you're going to connect that to the box or to your Windows or Mac PC in order to use it properly. The next thing, we will put the batteries in and once you do that, you can close the back and now that way your remote is now ready to use. So we're going to connect this to one of the boxes that we have here and then once it's connected make sure it's connected to the power and now you can go ahead and use it. So right now we're just on a Nova launcher on one of the boxes and you can see it's such a nicely it just recognizes your hand gestures going right and left. It does have a button so you could turn off or you can turn on the mouse so this way if you are inside of something like Kodi you want to use it it would work perfectly. Again the buttons that are on this remote itself on the top you have a little part so you can touch but it doesn't do anything. Going down you have the power button and then you have the play and pause button right underneath of it. Beside that you have the volume up, underneath of it you have the volume down. Then you also have the page up and page down. This way it will work if you are inside of a browser. Going down on the left hand side you have the mouse button so you can turn on the mouse or turn it off. You do on the right side have the return button or escape button. It does have a very nice navigation keys which is top, bottom, right and left and in the middle you have the OK button. In the bottom left hand side you do have the home button and on the right hand side you have the menu button. It's very mandatory to have these buttons. And then underneath of that you do have a little indicator so when you press a button it will flash blue. Then underneath of that you do see the icon for i7 and also RII mini logo in the bottom. Then it does have a little cut in the bottom and that's about it. By the way, I would recommend this for anybody who wants to use a very quick and very small without any keyboards in the front or in the back to use this. Since a lot of the Android boxes these days do come with an on-screen keyboard, this will really help you to maneuver with your hand and select the buttons. And as you can see right now, you can type something on your browser or you want to search something inside of your Kodi or any other apps. I will be placing a link where you can order this remote from and also a little more information from official website underneath this video. At the meantime, I hope you guys like our video. If you do like it, click the click the like button, subscribe button on the top, comment in the bottom. Always remember to visit our own website, which is xctext.info. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, Vine, Instagram and other social networking places. And thank you.